is going through a terrible time, all because of Israel's terrible crime. Kids are full of worry and dread. There's no food, not even a single piece of bread. They can't even sleep peacefully in bed. Free, free. Free, free. Free, free. free. Okay, now we've got Abdullah. Thank you for showing up, everyone. We are here today because BBC are complicit in the genocide, promoting their false information, false data, false anal analytics as well. Because we are gathered here today to address the complicity of the BBC in the ongoing genocide of the Palestinian people. Now, as it's well known that the BBC have now had a long history of bias and one-sided coverage of the Palestine conflict. Its reporting often fails to accurately portray the suffering of the Palestinian people and instead gives a platform to the Israeli government's narrative. The lack of fair and balanced reporting on the part of the BBC has only served to perpetuate the oppression and marginalization of the Palestinian people. By not holding the Israeli government to account for its horrific actions, the BBC is in its effort complicit in the, this ongoing genocide. So shame on the BBC. The BBC portrays the oppressor as the oppressed, the victims as the aggressor. If I relied on the BBC, would I know that days ago, Hind Rajab, a six-year-old girl that was shot and killed by the Israeli military, Days after she cried amongst the corpses of her family in the car surrounded by Israeli tanks. We heard recordings of her cries for help to emergency services. If we relied on the BBC, would we know that the ambulance crew were bombed on the way to rescue him? Because over 12,000 children killed. How many more Hins? How many more Reems? How many more Mohammeds? Before the BBC starts portraying the truth, portraying the victims as victims, and this war as a genocide. So lastly, we cannot turn a blind eye to the complicity of the BBC in the genocide of the Palestinian people. We must demand accountability and accurate reporting from the BBC on the one-sided conflict in Palestine. Because we owe it to our fellow human beings to stand in solidarity with the oppressed and demand justice for the Palestinian people. Even though I am not Palestinian, I am a human being who believes in speaking out against the tragic loss not for not over 10, not over hundreds, but over 30,000 Palestinians who have been slaughtered with the brutal Israeli attack because they are not numbers, they are humans. It's important for us to all use our voices wisely to advocate for the freedom of the Palestinians because from the river to the sea, from the river to the sea, from the sea to the river, louder from the sea to the river, BBC, we see your complicity, BBC, we see your complicity, BBC, we see your complicity, BBC, shame, shame, BBC shame shame All the crimes in your name 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 Big round of applause for Abdullah there please Now those of you who helped close down AXA last week Is there anybody here who was helping close down AXA last week? Do you remember what we did when the fire engine came? We parted. So I'm going to ask everybody on this side just to move that way a little bit. And everybody on that side just to move that way a little bit. And it's not for a fire engine. It's for the children who've been doing their toys at the back and are going to come forward to the front again. Let's have a big round of applause for the children. As they come forward, they have done a display. They've read out their poems. They've done the toys at the back. And there's now going to be another child speaker here, Hadika. So let's have a big round. A child in Gaza born to be a terrorist in their eyes. My country, my people, my land. Oh, how I wish we could be hand in hand. 
Their great jaws reached out and engulfed us all. Years ago, wasn't it our help that played a role? A child cannot sleep peacefully in his bed, worrying the next day he'll be dead. The sky kills and the house is hurt. Your blanket is smoke and your breakfast is dirt. Cars do somersaults, your clothes turn red. Friends become statues, it's messing with your head. They are in the shadows and the media pretends not to know. Tell me, where did my childhood go? My heart is pierced with the bombs of hatred. I feel relief, darkness. It's finally my turn for the white tarp to take me in. I do not hate the tarp, but the monsters who placed it there. My time is over. Free, free! Children, here is our hope. What's that? Okay, so we need a handful of children. I have some here at the front. If you guys would like to grab your kites. Yeah, so grab any kite that you see. We do have ushers. So if the people in front of the kites can just take a step back and let the kids pick up their kite. Thank you.